And right now we're here with one of our favorite guests, <laughs> actor, author, WWE superstar, John Cena. Yeah. 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 So the new movie is Ricky Stenicki. Ricky Stenicki. Who or what is Ricky Stenicki? Uh, Ricky Stenicki sounds like an imaginary name, and that's because Ricky Stenicki is an imaginary friend. It's the story about what would happen if your imaginary friend or your patsy actually had to come to life and became a, a real entity. So hilarity ensues, and a bunch of friends get in trouble. <laughs> and these friends, but these friends, they've been using their imaginary friend to get out of things their whole life. Yes. So I'm, I'm just curious, growing up, did you have an imaginary friend? And so uh, I had a big imagination, but I had a house, my mom, you know, my parents had a house with five boys, so I always had a patsy. So it was like, <laughs> 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 so so we never needed to lean on something imaginary, but we had imagination, we just always blamed each other. <laughs> so your character, Rod, is kind of a, like, I'm almost kind of a rock and roll impersonator. We get that because we saw you leaning beside the cutout of Britney Spears, yes. right? So that became my favorite, but what was your favorite star to impersonate? Well, uh, some of the 80s rockers were fun just because I listened, you know, I had their cassette tapes growing up. And to be able to, man, hats off to the costume and makeup department when yeah. you dress up like Billy Idol and you walk out mm. of the wardrobe tent and you look like Billy Idol and everybody's like, whoa, th that just makes such an impact on the the impression itself, so it was fun. I don't do impressions, and I don't sing, and I got to do both for this one. <laughs> wow, sounds great. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. It was, really uh, it was a great exercise in being pushed out of your comfort zone, yeah. and we gave a, a bunch of people a bunch of laughs. And you look good as Brittany. Uh, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip. Dean, you haven't introduced me to Indiana Jones here. Yeah, of course. Ted, this is Ricky Stenicki, my good friend. Uh, Ricky, this is Ted Summerhays, my boss. Ted, nice to meet you. Digging the suit and the seedlings, man. The seedlings? The hair plugs, they're new, right? What? No. This is my hair. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's... Like a doll's hair is her hair, that's good. <laughs> oh! That imaginary friend comes to life. Ricky oh, Snicky. Catch so it on you Prime see, Video. You see William H. Macy there and Zach Efron. Yes. Zach Efron just finished his movie about a wrestler, yeah, The Iron, Iron Claw. Claw. Yes. Yep. Did you guys talk about wrestling at all? Or, I, or I always talk about it. <laughs> uh, and, you know, Zach had just come from Iron Claw and didn't realize that uh, kind of anybody knew about it. But that was the way I broke the ice with Zach. Mm -hmm. And man, he was, you know, he, he put his heart and soul in that movie and it showed. I think it's a fantastic movie. His performance was great. The same person who trained him, Chavo Guerrero, I used to wrestle with. So we immediately kind of bonded over his experience and it, it led to some fun moments. Like did you movie. wrestle? Did, did I? You and Zach A long time ago. I did. No, no, no. Not Zach. Not with Zach. But it's a, it's a shame that the movie business worked out for Zach Efron because he'd be a heck of a WWE superstar for sure. Yeah. I don't know, but that's a good movie too. I mean, you've got time. Maybe you could do a wrestling movie too. You I, seem to be, you seem to be pitching a lot of movies. <laughs> I like where your head's at. Like your head's because you're Thank so you. good at all Thank these. All right. So I do, I, let's talk baseball because recently you were with a team called, help me out here, the Savannah, the Savannah Bananas. Bananas. Oh, man, it was so team. fun. They're so much fun. Gosh, I think really great. Michael knows more about this. I've heard it's a Band of bananas. I did not know what to expect, and they give such a, a great a crowd experience. I got to actually go up to bat. I realized I wasn't going to swing, so I tried to shorten my strike zone. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. I think the umpire had it out for me. Eventually, he called me out on strikes. I'm really trying my best to just get on base. But I got to tell you, uh, uh, you know, hijinks aside, as you can see, that's the umpire dropping an elbow on my strikeout. <laughs> they, they offer such a, a, a incredible fan experience. If you haven't been to see the Savannah Bananas, I really suggest to go. It, it blew my mind. I'd, it was a great, great time. I gotta say, I was impressed that you could squat down like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. around, man. Just try to move around. Right. Right. Press it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for coming in, John. Always oh, it's so much always fun. great to be here. Thank you guys for having me. I Absolutely. It. Ricky Stenicki premieres tomorrow on Prime Video. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.